Well, good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Chet coming at you again for the last week of October. Oh my goodness, did you see Miss Debbie's uh, video last week? If you didn't, I would encourage you to. Uh, she started getting us into uh, who Jesus is, and we're going to be learning more and more about Jesus. And she explained to us how, how Jesus is 100% uh, man and 100% uh, God. You know, how can somebody be 200% of something, right? Well, I would encourage you to, to watch Miss Debbie's video, and she will tell you all about it. Okay, so today we are going to learn about a man named Nicodemus, who was a Pharisee back in the day when Jesus was walking the earth, okay? Pharisees, so like Nicodemus, he, he was like one of the, uh, the, Jew, the Jewish ruling council, okay? So he was, he was a man who, who tried to do right, he tried to live right, he tried to be the best person he could be, he studied the Bible. I mean, when, when you put Nicodemus up against anybody else, right, he was really really good but we're gonna learn today that no matter how good you are it's never gonna be good enough to get you into heaven okay so there's only one way to get into heaven and we're gonna learn about that today okay so Nicodemus right he uh, was a Pharisee in the Jewish ruling council okay one of the, the higher ups like this guy might have been the top 10 most important person in Israel okay that's that's kind of how important this guy was and so he had a few questions that he wanted to ask Jesus so uh, one night he came and uh, saw Jesus and, and, and he asked him a, a bunch of questions okay and so uh, Nicodemus asked him he's like what what does it take to to get to heaven okay so that was kind of like the general question of what Nicodemus was asking Jesus and Jesus told him, he said, Truly I tell you that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again, which comes from above, which comes from heaven. Okay, this is like, okay, this is huge, boys and girls, because Nicodemus, I'm sure, was thinking, you know what, the only way to get to heaven is if you're Jewish. Because that's, that's what they thought, right? But Jesus was like, no way! He's like, the only way to get to heaven is if you are born again. And that comes from above. That comes from heaven. Now, again, like Nicodemus, his, his mind just must have been blown away. He's like, what are you talking about? Uh, Jesus is pretty much telling Nicodemus, he's like, listen, he's like, your self-righteousness, all that godliness that, that you do and, and you study, um, it's, it's not good enough. So Nicodemus is like, whoa. He's like, listen, man. He's like, how, how do you get into heaven? And how are you born again? How does that come from heaven? And, and Jesus said, he's like, uh, he, what Jesus said was, uh, he explained it like this. He said, a man must be born of the Spirit, okay? And now when he said this, Nicodemus would understand that a lot more because, because of what uh, the passage in Ezekiel says, okay? Uh, but Jesus told him the, the Holy Spirit, he makes this happen, okay? He compared the Holy Spirit to wind, right? And and just just like the wind, you can't see the wind, right boys and girls? But but you know the wind is there because because you can feel it. You can see the cause and consequence of, of what happens with the wind, like with, with leaves blowing, right? Like that's just like the Holy Spirit living inside of us, okay? When the Holy Spirit lives inside of us, we can see the work that is done that Jesus wants us to do, right boys and girls? So this is this is huge, boys and girls. This would have this would have like uh, blown Nicodemus's mind. He would have been like, oh my goodness. He's like, what in the world? And and then Jesus explained to them a little bit like this, okay? So back in the days of Moses, right? There were like, everybody was walking around in the wilderness, right? You, you've heard those stories. And, and people during that time were getting bitten by, by poisonous snakes and they were dying. So so God told Moses to, to uh, create a staff with a snake on it, right? And, and, he, and he put it up and, and anybody who got bitten by the snake or, or by like a poisonous snake would have to look upon that pole, right? With the snake on it 
and then they'd be healed. That, that was a miracle that God uh, gave to the Israelites back in the days of Moses. Jesus told Nicodemus, he's like, it is just like that. He's like, the son of man. You remember, boys and girls, Jesus is the son of man, right? We've talked about this in prior weeks. Jesus said, the son of man must be lifted up just like that pole was. And, and when people look on the son of man, they will be saved. Boys and girls, Jesus was talking about his crucifixion here, okay? When the Son of Man is lifted up, when he, when he is on the cross and he's crucified, and when, when people look at Jesus who's on the cross, when, when they understand that Jesus came to earth and, and he led a sinless life and, and he died on the cross for our sins and, and he was raised three days after that. Boys and girls, this is what Jesus is trying to tell Nicodemus. He's like, when people believe in me, he's like, then that indwelling spirit of me, the Holy Spirit, will live inside of you and you will be saved. Wow. Boys and girls, this is like, this is just like the, the pinnacle of the gospel right here. This is, this is like the most foundational thing that, that you can ever know boys and girls. It is Jesus who dies on the cross for our sins. Right, boys and girls? And when we when we think about Jesus on that cross who's dying for our sins, and we say, Jesus, I'm sorry for, for all the sins that I've done. Please forgive me, Jesus. Uh, thank you so much for dying on the cross and being raised. And then when you were raised, you raised me new as well. That's what he did, boys and girls. He, he took our sinful life when we believe in him and he buried it when he was buried. And when he came up from that grave three days later, he, he gave us a new life, boys and girls, a life filled with the Holy Spirit. Whew. Wow. Is that not like just the greatest thing ever? Boys and girls, this was an exciting week. Again, another fast week, but I mean, this, this was so, so good. Boys and girls, um, I just want you to know that, that if, if you are ever wondering, do you have Jesus living in your life? I would encourage you to talk to your, to your parents or guardians, your brothers or sisters. And, and, um, and, if, and if you don't have that right now, boys and girls, we can say a prayer together. And, and if you want to spend eternity in heaven, like, like Nicodemus was, was asking Jesus about. If you want to spend eternity in heaven, we can say a quick prayer right now. And, and it's just words, right? These are always just words, but it's what's in your heart that matters, right? We think, we think on Jesus and we believe it in our heart. Right, boys and girls? So, Father God, please forgive me of my sins. I know I'm a sinner. Please, please, please forgive me. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for rising from the grave three days later. Oh my goodness, how awesome is that? Thank you, Jesus, for that. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash me, cleanse me, make me whole. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Whew. What an easy prayer, right, boys and girls? I mean, that was, that was pretty easy, but boy, I tell you what, if that was the first time you prayed that, do you feel something different in your heart? I know the first time I did, I sure felt different. And I hope you boys and girls do as well. So what an exciting week. Uh, we are going to continue to learn more about Jesus and, and what he can do for us besides obviously getting us to heaven, right? Oh my goodness, how there's nothing better than that, right? Okay, so I'm going to close in prayer and I will see you boys and girls next week, okay? All right, Father God, thank you so much for examples of, of like Nicodemus who's in the Bible who just wants to get answers, right? Uh, he wants to find the best way, the only way to get to heaven. So he went right to the source. He went right to Jesus. And thank you so much for, for examples like this that, that we know we can go right to you, Jesus. We can, we can go right to you through prayer. And, and how awesome is that, that we can just pray to you anytime we want and you will listen. Thank you so much for your salvation. Thank you so much for allowing us a way to get to heaven, to spend eternity with you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, I'm excited to, uh, to learn more about Jesus as the weeks go on. I hope you boys and girls are as well. All right, you guys have a great week and I will see you next week. Okay, bye.